This film is intended for eye surgeons for training and education purposes. Now moving on to situations where we are introducing the CTR after the emulsification of the nucleus. So let us begin with this one case. The rexis margin has become D-shaped and we can see that there is a area of zonular weakness which is exemplified during cortex aspiration. So I'm forming the bag, making the bag deep by injecting OVD. I prefer to use sodium hyaluronate in these situations. Uh, through the side port, the CTR is threaded, it goes under the anterior capsule and about half of the CTR goes into the bag and then using the second instrument, I compress the ring uh, so that it doesn't put any stress and the remaining CTR is gently dialed into the bag ensuring that the area of the zonary dehiscence is adequately supported Then the remaining cortex is patiently removed. Now moving on to the next case, again a case of iatrogenic zonular dehiscence. This has happened during cortex aspiration, more commonly seen uh, in patients with weak zonules. Once we have noticed that there is uh, the zonular dehiscence is there, I stop it, I remove the cortex and then again I'm introducing the capsule tension ring uh, into the bag. Again we can see the bag needs to be very well distended by using OVD. My SINS-Q key is compressing the ring so that uh, there is without any stress on the bag, the, the CTR is gently threaded into it. Another case where we can see a localized area of zonular dehiscence, again the classical D-shaped bag is there. And once the, after filling the bag with OVD, I am gently dialing the CTR uh, using the bimanual technique. And I find that the bimanual technique of introducing the CTR is extremely accurate and also least stressful on the zonules. And this is how it looks before and after the CTR insertion. Uh, before concluding, I'd like to share a few cases of using CTR with uh, manual SICS technique and this is one case which is an hypermature cataract in an elderly patient. Uh, the issue here is the pupil is small, the cataract is very mature and we are dealing with weak zonules. So as soon as I puncture the capsule it is evident that the zonules are extremely weak and uh, my plan is to make a larger excess but because the pupil is small and the zonules are so weak. Uh, I am scared to enlarge the rexus because by the time I do it, I thought the bag would come off along with this. So this case had a very high risk of intercapsule extraction because the bag complex was going to come along with the nucleus. So I needed to enlarge the new CCC desperately but before that, the bag needed to be stabilized by CTR. And the issue here is because of small size of the pupil. Uh, because this was a, a SICS case, I thought I would get away without using an iris hook. But you know, you can see that I am finding it difficult to negotiate the ring into the bag because it has gone above the bag and under the iris. And uh, this could have been easily prevented if I had used iris six from beforehand itself. So I realized my uh, folly and again come back and try to reintroduce. I am using my Sinsky hook to retract the pupil a little bit so that it guides me the exact position of the thing. And the capsular knuckle which we see indicates that my uh, the ring is in the right plane and under the excess margin. So with great difficulty, uh, the, the ring could be manipulated into the bag and once it gives the equatorial support, uh, the stretching of the bag, the secondary excess becomes extremely easy. Of course, the pupil are expanded by using iris retractors and you can see the secondary excess become extremely easy to manage and eventually the case could be done very easily. Had I used the iris hooks before and it would have been much more simpler. So in this case, the back could be saved because we could extend the rexis to a secondary larger rexis and that was possible only because of the timely insertion of the CTR.
Now moving on to the next case, again a similar case of an uh, morgagnin cataract with the faecolytic glaucoma, hypermature cataract and loose zonules. As I'm trying to do the rexis, again, because of the ex extensive generalized weakness of the zonules, I can't really make a bigger rexis in the first go itself because it is going to uh, put stress on the zonules and it could also end up uh, going to the equator. So again, after completing the primary rexis, I'm inflating the bag with OVD and then stabilizing the bag by using a CTR. Uh, this timely intervention of introducing the uh, CTR really uh, makes the bag or the zonules behave in a different way. It, the equatorial stretch which it imparts helps me to effortlessly perform the secondary larger rexis because in majority of the SICs, the complication of the bags happen during the nucleus uh, manipulation. So again, put in the CTR, stabilize the bag and then perform a secondary rexis. Once it is done, the nucleus can be managed very efficiently and again an intracapsular extraction uh, could be avoided in these situations.